I ran the rest of the way from the car park. I didn't, I walked quickly, but you know what I'm saying. I went there fast, okay? I was moving. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be sharing my first impressions, swatches, comparisons, and a demo of some new rare beauty products. I have both of the new liquid blush shades, Virtue and Worth to try today. And I also have two shades of the brand's new tinted lip oils. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I raced into Bath this morning. I had originally placed an order on Space NK online for these products, but so rudely, they are apparently doing like something to their warehouse. I don't know what's going on there. They're reorganizing their warehouse. So it was going to be like a week probably before I got my products. So I was like, it's not fast enough. I need them quicker than that. The people need the answers, okay? They'll be sold out by the time they're here. So I went into the Space NK in Bath. I called them up first and the wonderful ladies who work there put one of each of the blushes behind the counter for me so that no one could steal them and ruin my day. So thank you so much to those lovely ladies because we know how quickly these rare beauty products sell out, especially the blushes. And I feel like these new blush shades, <gasps> Virtue and Worth, are gonna be like some of the most popular ever shades of this blush because they're just, they look so wearable. They're like what we've been waiting for. <laughs> is, is it just me? I don't know. But not only that, I have two shades of the new tinted lip oil, which I don't even think I knew was coming. Did we know about these? Did I know about these? Probably, and then I forgot, but here they are. I've got two shades of these as well, which of course I wanted to try. So let's do just that. I will, I have a few other shades of the Rare Beauty blush. I have four shades, too many, too regular size. So I will do comparisons of these blushes at the end of the video, but let's start off with these tinted lip oils. So I picked up two shades, Serenity and Joy. I absolutely love this packaging. It just looks and feels nice. And I think the price point of Rare Beauty is so good. I love that it comes with a doe foot and it seems like quite precise to get around the edges of the lips and everything. So yeah, I'm excited to try these. I can't, I can't smell anything. I feel like when I first opened it, I got a sort of waft of like a natural cosmetic type scent, but no fragrance. Well, not that I can smell. So let's go in with Serenity first. Okay, so there she is on the lips. I feel like I have a slight sort of tingly feeling that it accidentally it's clearly got on my tongue okay and my tongue is slightly tingling like almost a minty feeling but I'm not noticing like a taste and I'm not noticing any tingling on my lips so that's weird I hope I'm not dying so these are the Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oils, a gel to oil lip tint that provide a soft pinch of dewy cut color. I was not expecting this much color. I thought they were gonna be very sheer, but this has a really nice amount of pigmentation. I think these are gonna be so great for spring. A lovely glossy shine to them. Very pretty, very pretty. I thought these were gonna have like no color. They feel so comfortable, very much feels like a lip oil, very comfy, not sticky, but way more colour than I thought they were going to have. It does say these can be layered for a bolder look and helps to leave lips looking fuller and healthier. Obviously, Rare Beauty are vegan and cruelty free. So let's layer this colour up and see. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it feels so nice. It feels so nourishing and hydrating. Yeah, that definitely built nicely. I don't have like any like plumping, burning or cooling or stinging or fire sensation on the lips. It's just where it like touched my tongue. It feels like a bit tingly there. I don't know what's going on there, but it's fine. Nothing terrible is happening so far. But these feel lovely, very nourishing and light on the lips. Literally feels like I have nothing on but they feel like hydrating. They're available in eight shades and 19 pounds. Like I said, Rare Beauty has such a nice price point. So that is Serenity. 
Oh, very pretty. Okay, so these really do leave a tint to the lips. I don't know that I was expecting that just because I guess the name was like a tinted lip oil, but then reading the description, it says a gel to oil lip tint with dewy color and it's definitely tinted my lips. So I'm not sure now how we're gonna see the second shade. So here we have Serenity and Joy. But obviously if I put Joy on my lips now, it's just, you're still just gonna see the Serenity tint underneath. So I'm gonna try and like tone these down with just my sponge that has a little bit of like concealer foundation on still just so we're gonna get a bit more of actually the color of Joy, otherwise all you're gonna see is the tint that already was there. So hopefully this is gonna give us a, a bit more of an idea of what Joy looks like if you haven't already gone in with Serenity. Oh, that's so pretty. These are gonna be great for summer because you know if they start wearing off, you're still gonna have that tint underneath and then you can either reapply or just top up with some lip balm, but you're still gonna have that color. This again, it feels so lovely, light hydrating, very comfortable on the lips. I think I prefer this shade. I still think it's looking a bit darker and we're picking up a little bit of serenity on my lips because I applied it first. You can see here, Joy by itself, looks much lighter and peachier than my lips do currently because they've obviously still maintained a bit of that stain. Um, oh, as you can see, they are gonna wear real nice. <laughs> okay, I'm really liking those. I think they're beautiful. I think those are gonna be like a hit for spring and summer. They just feel so nice. And I really wasn't expecting this much color. <laughs> so exciting. Okay, let's have a play with these new blush shades, Virtue and Worth. I'm going to start off with Worth. And if you're unfamiliar with these, then my number one top tip is <laughs> be careful. Go steady, okay? They are so pigmented, like terrible things can happen very, very, quickly all right so this is worth i'm using my bk beauty 109 which is like an amazing immense immensely good cream product brush do you see what i mean do you see what i'm saying about the pigmentation i mean oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so sorry. These, both of these new shades are the Dewy Finish formula, which is great for me because that is what I like. I'm just gonna go around the edges with my sponge. This sponge is really putting in a shift today. It's really getting some multitasking in before the weekend. Oh, I'm gonna leave that quite blushy because I want you to see the color, okay? I have no highlight on, but I do have a glowy foundation today. I have the Say foundation. Bronzer, but no highlight, just the glow is coming from the cheeks and all the water I drink, of course. But that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Exactly what I was hoping for. So flipping pretty. So, you know, I did three teensy little dots there and you know, it's just so pigmented. You really need the tiniest amount, but it is one of the best liquid blushes, if not the best liquid blush that I've ever tried. It's so easy. You don't really blend it. You just sort of tap it into the skin and it's so pretty. This shade is glorious. So that is worth, and this is described as a true rose. I feel like it looks quite peachy though, but. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain, it's stunning, whatever it is. Okay, so I'm just cleaning off that brush, so I'm gonna use the same one again because it's so good. And now we go with Virtue. I am wiping the excess off on the applicator. <sighs> Virtue is described as a beige peach, which I mean, this is literally like all of my dreams come true of a shade that almost like there's a bit of a bronziness to it this one isn't quite as 
rich and deep and intimidating as worth. So virtue is definitely the kind of more subtle, so I mean, it, it's not subtle and soft. It's still very pigmented, but it's just a slightly easier going on my skin tone. Oh, this is beautiful. Again, just tapping some edges around there. So there we have Virtue. I mean, that is exactly what I was hoping it was going to be like, again, in the dewy finish. So we have Worth, the True Rose, in the dewy finish. And we have Virtue, which is the Beige Peach, again, in that dewy finish. <gasps> Can you pick a favourite? I mean, this is my favourite, instantly hands down. I love this side as well, but I'm a peachy girl at heart, so virtue has the win for me, but both beautiful. Which is you guys' favorite? Are you worth it or virtuous? Okay, so let's swatch these and compare them to some of the shades I already have. Excuse my stripy arm, okay? My top has left marks all over it. <laughs> so we have worth. I feel like that looks much more rose on my arm than it did on my cheek. I have Virtue, which is that beige peach. I have Encourage, which is a soft neutral pink. Joy, which is a muted peach. So you can see Joy much, much brighter than Virtue. Then we have Happy, which is a cool pink. Again, much brighter than these shades I used today. And finally, we have Truth, which is that really rich, deep, like movie berry shade. And those are all the shades I have to share. Okay, so that is everything I have to share with you today. My pick of this whole video was the Virtue Blush. This is exactly what I've been waiting for from Rare Beauty in these shades. I just think this is like the perfect everyday, slightly peachy, but mostly like neutral blush. And these blushes are so versatile. They're so buildable and you can really use a teeniest dot and get a beautiful, very subtle effect. Or, you know, you can use a couple of dots like I did and get a really blushy look. So they're gonna work on lots of different skin tones. I think both of these are very pretty. They are very easy to use, even for me when I'm, you know, I'm not a liquid or cream blush pro by any means. I found them really easy to build and blend, no disturbing or picking up of foundation underneath. They have the prettiest glowy finish and they are just so beautiful. I'm really happy with them. The lip oils, I mean, these are just not what I was expecting at all. I haven't seen any other reviews or anything yet. These are, you know, so new that I didn't really know anything about them. I hadn't even really read anything. I literally saw that they were released and I ran to Space NK. I drove some of the way. I ran the rest of the way from the car park. I didn't, I walked quickly, but you know what I'm saying. I went there fast, okay? I was moving. I grabbed them and I started whacking them on my lips and I just read the name lip oil and thought they were going to be a very sheer, shiny, oily lip product. <laughs> what a wally. Which they are, but I was not expecting the tint part. You know, when I wiped that first shade off, there is a lot of pigmentation left there and I was not ready for that. I was not expecting it. I did not know that was going to be the case. So that was, I don't know if it was a pleasant surprise. I'm not really a lip tint kind of girl. Like when I wipe a lip product off, I want it to be gone. I don't want it to still be there. I want it to go when I say, you know, I'm the boss, I'm in charge here. So I don't usually love that. And it was kind of tricky to show you the true color of the second shade because the first one would not get off. It was there, it was there. But if you're looking for a long lasting lip color, you know, something that's gonna be really nourishing and comfortable and hydrating, but you know, if you're eating and drinking, your lips aren't going to end up exposed and naked out in public. This is a great option. It's going to give you the wear without like the dryness of a liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna keep using these and giving these a chance because they are something quite new to me. I really steer clear of lip tints usually, but these look so pretty and so beautiful and they feel delightful. They're so hydrating and fresh feeling and comfortable and light on the lips. It's, it's a treat. 
I'll tell you. So there you have it. Those are my initial first impressions on these new lip oils from Rare Beauty and the new shades of blush. What a good day. What a time to be alive. I'm so excited. I really enjoyed these. I love the packaging from Rare Beauty. I think the price point is fantastic and everything the brand stands for is lovely and it's just nice brand to support. So I'm really glad that I ran into Bath and back for you guys today and <laughs> a little bit for myself, if I'm being honest. Please let me know what you've tried from Rare Beauty. This is, you know, still very new brand to me. I've really only tried their liquid blushes before. So please let me know what I should try next. I think the mascara, apparently, people are telling me, mascara? Anything else? Let me know. So please let me know if you plan to pick these up. Do remember that the blush shades do sell out quickly. So if you are interested in these, I wouldn't hang around. They usually do sell out quite quickly. I'm not sure how the lip oils will hang around, but you know, Rare Beauty, they do tend to go out of stock quite quickly. So just bear that in mind. But please let me know what you're picking up or if you're skipping and what your favorites are from Rare Beauty in the comment section down below. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.